Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Roger Skaka Sungura YouTube channel. Still, we are in the process of seeking answers to the tragic death of our CDF Francis Ogola. A number of organizations, a number of politicians are still asking tough questions, which no one has so far had the courage to respond from either the military or from the Kenya Kwanzaa government itself. Today, the Azimio team, the Azimio team held a press conference and they are demanding answers to three major questions. This is tough. <laughs> Mamba ya nazidi kwa mazitu. You know, after all the rumors on social media, we are narrowing down to a few, ans to a few questions which we must stand up as the Republic of Kenya and try to ask tough questions on the same. Out of the several questions, as me have sampled the questions into three. Question number one. Is it routine for a CDF to inspect classroom construction? Or was it a directive from somewhere? Then how can a CDF go to inspect a construction of a classroom? How? This is the work of the Cabinet Secretary for Education, C.S. Machogu. Classroom construction is not related to any military assignment. So Ogola is going to inspect construction of a classroom as who? Because the assignment cannot be related to an assignment of his ranking. So Azimio is asking, is it the routine or someone ordered him to go and do the same? Question number two. Was it normal for him to be in a chopper and was it normal for him to be in a chopper with so many other military personnel? Because he's in a jua, Mutu kama ogola kienda visit mahali anana choppers kama tatu. But this time round, walikuwa mefinyana in one chopper. So Azimio is asking, why? Number three, was this is the signated chopper? He ni hile ndege ya CDF anatumianga. Kwa sababu kama ruto, tunajua ndege ya ruto anatumianga ni he. Ndege ya gashawa ni he. So the chopper that was used yesterday, is it Ogola's official designated chopper? If not, where is his official chopper? Those are tough questions that Azmio is asking, ladies and gentlemen. They are saying, these are some of the urgent questions that must be answered and Kenyans deserve answers. We therefore call for a time-bound public inquiry and no effort or resources should be spared, including securing the service of international experts or investigators to get the bottom of this matter as it raises grave concerns. Can we listen first what Azimio said, led by Mother Karua, Kalonzo Msioka, Eugene Wamalwa and other Azimio delegates. And this is the oppressor. Can we listen to what they're saying? And uh, once again, our apologies for keeping you. We had to accompany Jacom to go and say pole to the family, to Mama Eileen and the family. We found they are quite a big team. Today, we're going to have our sister mother read a joint statement 
regarding the tragedy that is facing this country. So our sister mother. This is our statement on the tragic helicopter accident that claimed the life of General Francis Omondi Ogola, Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, and nine officers. Azimio La Umoja, One Kenya Coalition, joins all Kenyans and indeed the world in grieving the tragic loss of the Chief of Kenya Defense Forces, General Francis Omondi Ogola. The general passed on yesterday as a result of a tragic helicopter crash at Kaben Chepturel boundary between El Geyo, Maraquet, and West Pokot counties. General Ogola died in the course of duty alongside nine other officers, Major George Benson Magondu, Brigadier Swale Said, Colonel Duncan Keitani, Lieutenant Colonel David Sawe, Captain Sora Mohammed, Captain Hilali Litali, Senior Sergeant John Kenyua Mureidi, Sergeant Cliffons Omondi, and Sergeant Rose Nyawera. This is devastating, not only to the country, but to more to their families. Fortunately, the brutal hand of death left behind two unidentified survivors whom we wish a speedy recovery. We also ask that they be secured and afforded the best treatment that we can afford. We will always remember General Ogola as a devout patriot and dedicated soldier to the Republic of Kenya from the day he graduated. He has been through multiple tours of duty and ultimately as the top soldier in Kenya, the Chief of Defense Forces, the CDF. He was revered by his colleagues at home and abroad. He has had a service of 40 years. Kenya's 11th CDF was a focused visionary whose impact on our disciplined forces, indeed our nation, will be greatly missed. To General Gola's family and those, the families of the other fallen soldiers, we offer our deepest condolences. At this most difficult moment, we stand with them and our prayers are with them. As a Zimio, we are deeply concerned that the Kenya Defense Forces have had several other accidents in the last 12 months, including yesterday's tragic crash. Just a minute, and uh, we are saying that this must be thoroughly investigated. We are aware that it is the Kenya Defense Forces that they secures the flight, the flights of their commander in chief, as well as of their top officer, who is the CDF, the Chief of Defense Forces. They have done so successfully since independence, and yesterday's accident was unprecedented. We are therefore saying that uh, this is of great concern Kenyans. It needs serious investigation, and it raises part uh, pertinent concerns about our uh, the safety of our airspace and especially of our disciplined forces. We need a serious relook into our security equipment, especially the aircraft, to under and we need to undertake a complete overhaul. Yesterday's unfortunate accident needs expeditious investigations 
as, and this will not only help ease the already tense and anxious feelings of Kenyans, but it will put an end to any speculation. The investigations must be open and reports made to the public. We also wish to ask the Ruto administration to consider the welfare of our disciplined forces and their families. And we suggest that in commemoration of General Ogola and the brave soldiers who died yesterday and the countless unsung heroes, the disciplined forces welfare fund should be established as soon as possible to address the well-being of our disciplined forces. The questions Kenyans are asking in conclusion is whether it is routine for the chief of defense forces to go and inspect construction of classrooms. Was this a plan within the military or was it a directive? There are many questions which beg answers. Even the visual images of that accident. I don't want to say anything more that may prejudice investigations. They leave us with anxiety and answers are needed as soon as possible. Once again, our deepest condolences to the families of General Ogola and the eight gallant officers who perished with him. And our prayers for quick recovery for the two survivors.